I'm about to show you eight places that you shouldn't miss on your next trip to Taiwan. So let's get started with number one, making our way to Taichung City. There's actually one specific reason why we came to this town, and that is because of this lady right here. She, because okay, you can say it. I want to try the original bubble milk tea. So there's one, there's two restaurants that claim they're the original creators and one of them is here. So I'm gonna check it out. So let me explain. Bubble tea as we know it today came into existence almost four decades ago. Two tea houses, Chung Shui Tang really in the nice. central city of Taichung, the one we are right now, and Hanling Tea Room in the southern city of Tainan. Both claim they have invented the drink in 1986, making it hard to know who did it first. So we're just simply gonna try one of them. <laughs> Moment of truth. Yeah? What did you get actually? You said the original, right? Yeah, the original which is probably black tea. Yeah, it's a black tea uh, with the tapioca pearls. The ball, the pearls are smaller than usually. Um, and it's really good actually. It's very good. Mm. It is good. As a non tea lover, I wouldn't mind having it. Not too bad. Okay. It's amazing to think that this humble tea house started a global phenomenon that's still going strong today. Lenny, if you're watching, this tea was for you. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Next up, we're off to explore the spiritual wonders of Wenwu Temple right by the stunning Sun Moon Lake oh, look at that. and let me tell you it's absolutely breathtaking the intricate architecture adorned with colorful artwork and ornate carvings it's like something out of a fairy tale as we stepped inside we're hit with the sense of serenity the air is filled with this sweet aroma of incense and the sound of chanting echoes through the halls we take our time exploring the temple grounds soaking in the breathtaking views of the lake and surrounding mountains. But it's not just the scenery that gets to us. There's this tangible sense of spirituality in the air, whether we're lighting incense sticks, offering prayers, or simply admiring the beauty around us, we feel this deep connection to something greater. Leaving Wenwu Temple, we can't help but feel grateful for the experience. It's a reminder of the power of faith the beauty of tradition and the importance of taking a moment to pause and reflect in our busy lives. Our adventure continues at the breathtaking Siin Pagoda. Nestled high up on Siin Mountain, the journey isn't for the fainted hearted though. We had to sacrifice 570 steps to reach this seven story masterpiece. But trust me, it's totally worth it. Finally, we made it to the base of the pagoda. Hi Cinderella. Wow, did you guys know you can go all the way to the top? That seems like a challenge for me. With each step, the air got cooler and the scenery more spectacular. Look, there's a bell on the last floor. We literally did that. All of that. And then you reach to the top. Wow, just wow. Yes. Make that effort and climb all the way up here because the view is insane. More than it's completely insane. Wow. The panoramic views is stretched out as far as the eye could see with mountains and sparkling waters all around us. But what really blew us away was the intricate design of the Siin Pagoda. From the ornate carvings to the colorful tiles, every detail told a story of Taiwan's rich culture heritage. It's not just a tourist spot, it's a symbol of peace, harmony, and timeless beauty. Standing here, surrounded by such natural and architectural wonders, we felt truly grateful for the chance to experience it all.
Next, we journey to the legendary Madhu Dacian Temple, a true testament to century-old culture and spirituality. Stepping inside, we're immediately surrounded by ornate architecture and the sweet scent of burning incense. Exploring the temple grounds, we're blown away by its sacredness and the resilience of the human spirit. As we leave, we're not just captivated by its physical beauty, but also by the rich history and traditions embedded in every corner. But to be fair, for this one, we came precisely for this dragon and this picture. Alright, bye bye dragons. We're diving into the heart of Tanyan City, where Shannon streets away. This enchanting enclave feels like a step back in time to the Qing Dynasty with its cobblestone streets and red bricks buildings steeped in history. As we wander through the narrow alleyways, we're greeted by a symphony of sights, sounds and smells. From traditional tea houses to artisan workshops, there's something intriguing around every corner. It's like stepping into a living museum of Taiwan's culture heritage. Whether you're on the hunt for unique souvenirs, mouth-watering local treats, or just a peaceful escape from the city chaos, Shannon Streets cast it all. And for all of you photography buffs out there, this place is a goldmine of picture, perfect moments. As the sun dips below the horizon, painting the street in a warm golden light, we're reminded that Shannon Street isn't just a place, it's an unforgettable experience that stays with you long after you're left. Now we're about to explore one of Taiwan's most incredible natural marvels the Yingyang Sea. Trust me, this place is unlike anything you've ever seen before. As we made our way to the coastline, I couldn't contain my excitement. The journey itself was an adventure with every twist and turn revealing more of the stunning landscape ahead. And then, finally, we laid eyes on the sea. And it was a sight to behold. The colors were out of this world. Vibrant blues and yellows swirling together in a mesmerizing dance it felt like I was staring at a painting come to life right before my eyes. But the beauty of the Yin Yang Sea goes beyond its stunning appearance. Standing there, surrounded by the nature's beauty, I couldn't help but feel a sense of peace wash over me. It's moments like this that reminds us what truly matters in life. Arriving at Nanya Rock, I was blown away by its sheer beauty, carved over millions of years. This rock formation looks straight out of a sci-fi movie. We wasted no time exploring every inch of this mesmerizing landscape, from intricate patterns to vibrant hues. Our journey concludes at the iconic Bito Cape Observation Pavilion in the northern Taiwan. With excitement in our hearts, we're ready to explore this stunning coastal gem. As we hit the trail, the salty sea breeze fills our lungs and the sound of crashing waves sets the tone for our adventure. With each step, anticipation builds, fueled by the promise of jaw-dropping views and unforgettable experiences. After a scenic hike through bamboo groves and rocky outcrops, we finally reach the observation pavilion. And let me tell you, folks, this site that greets us is nothing short of spectacular. The Pacific Ocean stretches out before us in all its glory, framed by towering cliffs in dramatic rock formations. We stand in awe, taking in the breathtaking scenery and feeling grateful for this moment of connection with nature. With hearts full of memories to last a lifetime, we make our way back down the trail, already dreaming of our next adventure. And this is how you end a car trip in Taiwan. See you in the next one.